Hey guys, and welcome to this edition of Scruff's Garage. Uh, today I'm going to be working on replacing the differential output shaft seals uh, on my C5 Corvette. Uh, this is a fairly common uh, issue. Uh, a lot of times you look under the car, you've got a little bit of a uh, differential oil leak. Uh, you'll typically see oil. Uh, it starts to seep down on the lower part of this cover. Uh, you also see it around the, the CV axle. <clears throat> uh, fairly common issue. So today I've got a new set of the GM uh, output shaft seals for the differential. So I'm going to start working on getting this seal out uh, and we'll move along with this project. There we go. Uh, that actually wasn't too bad. So that worked best using the uh, small flathead to get behind uh, the lip here and just twist sideways and that popped out uh, pretty easy. One other thing I'll show you. <clears throat> um, there is an updated seal from GM. So this is the uh, old seal here on the right and here's the new updated seal from GM. Uh, GM number 1925-9473. Um, but you can see there's a slight difference. So the tension ring appears to be a little bit thicker on the new seal versus the, the old one. And the lip of the seal is a little different there versus, I don't know if you can see in there. <clears throat> and also um, this section of the seal is a little different as well so just a few minor updates um, <clears throat> but I'm sure this is probably the only seal that's available at this point anyway so if you buy a new seal from GM um, it will be the updated design from the original <clears throat> okay so obviously we've got the old seal out um, I took a moment just to clean up <clears throat> the rest of the uh, the cover uh, that way it was clean uh, with some brake cleaner uh, that way, should it leak at any point in the future, um, <clears throat> I'll be able to tell what's new versus the old stuff. So, I'll grab the new seal. It slides in. Like so. Okay, so I've got the seal in. Um, <clears throat> as you saw, initially I was using um, this tool here. It's designed to be a, uh, a bearing and race and seal installer. Uh, the problem is the output shaft uh, sticks out just slightly past um, this surface where the, uh, the gasket sits. So you can't actually drive it um, all the way in flush. So this got it started and helped keep it even, um, but ended up finishing... Uh, with a piece of wood um, just a little short piece that I could work around the outer lip uh, you have to be careful with it uh, obviously you don't want to get the seal in um, crooked otherwise you'll uh, bend it and you'll end up with a leak uh, but that's how I finished it I just finished uh, with a rubber mallet and I just kind of worked around the outer edge <clears throat> to get the seal fully uh, seated so that seems to work pretty good uh, of course, I still got to do the other side, um, but that's how this seal gets installed. One other thing I'll point out while you've got the CV axle uh, pulled out, um, check this output shaft. Give it a wiggle. Uh, there shouldn't be any play in this shaft. 
uh, if there's excessive play and it's slopping all around in there, uh, then you have bigger issues. Then you've got a, a bearing inside the differential uh, that's failed, <clears throat> and that's what's taking out the, the seal. If there's a lot of play in that, um, then obviously it's going to beat the seal, and then that's why the seal is leaking, but you've got a, a larger issue. So uh, give that a check <clears throat> before you get too far into it um, to make sure you're working on the right thing. <clears throat> of course, the other thing, let's see if I can move the camera. Sorry, it's not a way to get good light on this. Uh, check the this part of the uh, the CV axle. Uh, make sure you don't have any deep grooves that have worn into the uh, this surface. So this is where the uh, seal would ride. Um, I've actually got a little bit of a groove started there, so I'm going to be watchful on, on this. I'm not going to replace the axles now because. Um, the universal joints in there are still good, <clears throat> but I am going to be watchful. If this seal uh, continues leaking, uh, then it may not be a problem with the seal. It may be actually this uh, surface that the seal rides on. Uh, so that's another thing to check when you're trying to determine uh, why you have a leak. It may not be just the seal. Uh, it could be this surface as well. So that's another important thing to check.